you gotta wonder like what sort of horrible parenting has caused so many people in my generation to not be able to tolerate being in their parents presence like what did those parents do to those children I don't know if this is like a Christian phenomenon and if it's all I mean I'm not gonna say like oh it's all because their parents use the scriptures and Bible and Christian parenting books to justify abusing their kids I don't know if that's the reason clearly you know something something went wrong that has really hurt our generation we watched shiny happy people we watched a podcast read some interviews read some articles found an article by James Dobson about why to spank kids he explained that if you tell a child not to touch a stove because they'll get hurt they touch it anyway they get burned they learn not to do that again and you tell them to be careful because you don't want them to fall but they fall they get hurt they learn so his argument is that pain is how kids learn not to do something while that part is true he goes on to say that is why parents should spank their kids because pain is how they learn and the threat of pain keeps them out of trouble we all agree pain is a powerful teacher however the real lesson in my opinion does not come from the pain but rather from natural consequences the lesson of don't touch the stove is learned not because a parent spanks them for getting too close to the stove but kids learn to be careful about a hot stove because they're afraid of getting burned by the fire and some kids might touch the stove and some kids might touch it more than once um, but at some point they realize every time i get close to this i get hurt and kids learn to avoid the source of pain in order to protect themselves from getting hurt again but you know parents want to protect their kids from getting burned and understandably so and i'm not advocating for like throw your kid in the fire so they know it burns them but like in certain situations instead of inflicting pain upon your kids like it's okay to let them experience a little bit of natural pain like you don't have to be the one who's hurting them and that is the flaw in this whole teaching about spanking because the lesson that kids learn from experiencing pain is to avoid the source of pain so kids learn to walk on eggshells around their parents because they fear being beaten by their parents kids learn to stay away from the source of the pain in order to protect themselves from experiencing that abuse over and over and some kids might take years into adulthood to figure out why they have so much fear and anxiety when they're around their parents and why they dread spending time with their parents and why they exhibit symptoms of PTSD at the mere thought of setting foot in their parents' home. And even though sometimes it doesn't make sense to our brain, our physical bodies know that what we experienced under the disguise of biblical discipline was actually years and years of physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual abuse. And we have to stay away from that in order to protect ourselves from the trauma of the past abuse and from the person who continues to abuse us emotionally and verbally. Thankfully, there's not physical abuse anymore because the abuser knows that they'll go to jail if you beat an adult with a wooden ruler until they cry. Then why is it okay to hit children over and over until they cry out in pain and beg you to stop? And how sickening it is that parents do this to their own children and will use the Bible to justify it, to say that they're a good Christian parent in obeying God by beating their parent beating their child. And I keep thinking of the verse in Matthew 18, 6 that says, if anyone causes one of these little ones who believes in me to stumble, it would be better for him to have a large millstone hung around his neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. And I might be totally misinterpreting that scripture, but it's horrifying to think of what will happen to the Christian leaders who taught parents to abuse their kids and to call it biblical discipline. Like what is the consequences that they will experience for the pain that they caused us? because we have a good father and he's pissed off by how we have been treated and he is going to fight for us and he will defend and protect and right the wrong that's been done to us and repay what has been stolen from us.